And we're back with the second encounter of the brutal shooter you know and love, Serious Sam. Serious Sam the Second Encounter is part of an episodic first-person shooter. This episode was initially released in 2002 for PC, but in 2009 the whole series was redesigned in HD. The Second Encounter is, obviously, the second episode in Sam's grand adventure. The game starts off where the first one left off, and Sam crashes back down to Earth in the Mayan Age. If you're new to the story, Sam, Sirius Stone, is the last hope of humanity, so he's sent back in time by one alien race to defeat another alien race named Mental, and... Well, just look up my review of the first encounter. The look and feel of the second encounter is exactly like the first, but don't worry, developer Crow Team brings many sweet, sweet additions to the table. The environments feel so much bigger, and each level feels much longer with little to no break for load time. I think, even though I severely enjoyed the first encounter, that the second encounter has a more solid design. More weapons have been added, like a sniper rifle, a flamethrower, Sam's own creation, the Sirius Bomb, and my most definite favorite, a chainsaw. Nothing makes me feel more like Bruce Campbell than chainsawing a skeleton to death. There are even some new monsters that pose challenges in the way of approach, with the old set you've come to know and blow away just mixed right in. Yes, there are cheap moments, like every second after I received the flamethrower. Good lord, that thing makes battle so much easier. The second encounter is still ripe with hilarious jokes and laughably huge waves of enemies. They even added a survival mode to this game which pits you against waves and waves and waves of enemies that approach from every angle, even some that drop down from out of the sky. By surviving longer you get medals and even though the highest gold medal survival goal is under 10 minutes, this mode is a strong addition to the game. Survival mode is a snapshot view of what to expect from the overall game. It's not just fun, but it's also a training ground for people having trouble with more difficult levels. Each level offers a different twist with varied environments, tons of ammo, and loads of enemies. I don't know why, maybe it's my insatiable love of in-game violence, but this episode has me talking to myself more than I'm comfortable with. I'll taunt enemies with, it must suck to be chainsawed in half, or, oh look, you're on fire, what a shame. This title embraces the fact that its main purpose is destruction. The second encounter plays smoothly, and I think that's one of the most important aspects of a first-person shooter, as it keeps you in the game. Speaking of keeping you in the game, I mentioned earlier that this title has bigger and longer levels than its predecessor, which keeps me from quitting out. I'm not sure if this was the intended design, but I find less breaks in this title keeps me rolling with every new set of enemies I happen upon. I also found it slightly more difficult to determine when something major was about to happen, as huge ammo caches pop up all over the place. A more unfortunate thing that the second encounter inherited from the first is the random perspective jump. It usually doesn't happen in combat, but every so often I'll be investigating something and my point of view will quickly shift without any controller movement. Another concern is the lack of sniper rifle ammo in the serious ammo pack which is supposed to resupply every weapon. I'm not certain if this is a bug or intended as that sniper rifle is a huge game changer in larger, more open areas. But these are small problems in the grand scheme of Serious Sam, so don't let them deter you from playing this spectacular title. I'll take the time to say it again like I did in my review of the first encounter. I love this game. I love how insanely difficult it is and how it takes me back to the mid-90s when first-person shooters were still young. It's a great game for people who grew up on Doom, Quake, and Wolfenstein, and an even better game for people who haven't.